Hello, welcome back to another unboxing video today with Nexus Core. So today it's gonna be Silver Dust Blaze, which I believe is the eighth set for the V series. So I was lucky enough to get this box from my friends over at Triple Sleeve TCG. So today's video is gonna be sponsored by them. So quickly going over Triple Sleeve TCG, they're an online vendor which specializes in distributing uh, booster sets and also case splits as well as playset splits for whatever specific clan you're looking for within that set. So if you want to get all your play sets of a certain clan but don't want to go through having to buy in booster boxes or packs, you can just get a play set of the base rarity card of whatever clan you need to update your deck. If you're also looking for individual cards, they also have their own vendor shop on tcgplayer.com. So you can go ahead and check them out there as well. Thanks again to Triple C TCG for giving me this box and let's just get right back into it. So today our opening tool is gonna be a flower pen. So shout out to, oh, there went the flower pen, whoops. <laughs> shout out to flower pens before I killed them. All right. Cool, so let's set this little display up. Oh, wow, that's cool. So it comes with a little die. It looks like, oh, Dimension Police. That's, that's pretty cool. So each box comes with a little, little die there. What else comes in here? Advertisements for Vanguard Zero and the Cinnamon Arc. RIP Buddy Fight. So our promo for this is, let's see. Ah, a little tough one, huh? Good old fashioned teeth. Fall else fails, use your teeth. All right, so in here we got a protect marker, a protect two with the Vanguard Zero add, and our little quick shield there. So more quick shields to add to collections. And the packs, Let's pull the packs out real quick. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I think I counted that right, so let's just jump right into the first pack. So I remember now, I always forget that there's seven cards per pack, so let's go ahead and get right into, oh, wow, that was easy, first VR to the first pack. <laughs> so it's a Supreme Heavenly Battle Deity Susano. So Susano's pretty good, let's go ahead and read what he does. It's uh, when it's placed, you look at the top two cards of your deck, uh, reveal one and put it on top of your deck and you put the rest at the bottom. So, pretty good. Uh, once per turn, counter blast, soul blast one, reveal two cards on top of your deck, put them in your hand and activate all the trigger effects of the revealed cards. Uh, and then if you have a grade three in your soul, you reveal three instead of two. So, it's an add two, you get triggers off, um, triggers resolve after the effect resolves, so you revolve so you have to do the three cards before you resolve the triggers. So that's cool. So uh, the other card, which was a rare, uh, this card's pretty good in Link Joker because it unlocks stuff for you. So choose one of your circles, unlock the lock card in that circle, and stand review in that circle. And if you uh, if you unlock or stood a card, you get to draw a card. So uh, since you don't really want to ride any other grade threes in the deck other than Alter Ego, this is a really good card to take up that slot. Uh, the rest we got pretty much just our basic commons there. So nice, we already pulled one VR for the, the box. The rest we just gotta get our triple R's. Oh, cool, so right away, got our vision tokens, cause you know, we need those. Um, got dimensional robo dice scooper and uh, more witch support for OTT. Let's keep going. I have more deleter support, Goldfire, Muto, Battle Sister Ginger, more Battle Sisters, a Dragon Dancer Rare, and Double R. Oh, cool. So it's the OTT uh, Sentinel. So 30,000 shield crit. So, so far it looks like I'm getting the OTT box. I'm going to set that aside. So I would say that the main thing that anyone's going to be looking for this set are obviously going to be Overlord and uh, messiahs those are kind of the two clans that are really dominating the meta after this booster set so if you want to get into a more competitive competitive environment um i would say those are the two 
clans you're going to be looking for. Overlord obviously going to be the most expensive because it requires a lot of older cards that are probably not in rotation or in print. So good luck with those finding those, but you know, that's what it takes when you collect these cards. So looks like we just got another common box. What does this double R do? It's double R, so it must be good. Uh, during your turn, uh, if your opponent has no rear guards, this gets plus five. And then when placed, you look at the top five for Doha or Gar. Okay, I remember this card. So this is really good for the Blade Master deck um, because you can you add Doha or Garin. Uh, the goal is to get Doha because Doha gets you Garin. So that way it makes it easier to activate their effects. I like that it's also when it's placed on Vanguard Circle, so it you know helps you get to that point faster. And the plus five for having no rear guards is nice as well. So uh, definitely a good card for Blade Master, for sure. That's what it's designed for. All right, going on to continuing on with that pack. Hey, Conroe's back. Forgot about that. So the go-to starter now obviously is going to be Conroe. So you got to play Conroe in your Kagura deck. Like it's just it's just mandatory. I don't even know what this card does. It's a rare. I'm going to read it anyways. When it's placed, the card from your drop zone is lock card. Okay. Then battle the attack your opponent can normal call only grade zero cards. I mean, yeah, that's that's not that great. Uh, Intense Aim Dragon. When it boosts a grade three soulless one, choose your opponent's regrets and background tire. It. Okay. Yeah, these are these are okay cards. <laughs> All right. Next up, what we got what we got. Um. Okay, so new OTT starter. Uh, vanilla Kagero card. Oh yeah, Mother Orb has got reprinted as the heals. That's I always like the, the Mother Orb heal trigger. It was always a fun art to have. Oh cool. So Metal Board Shin Buster Double R. So what do you do? Uh, when it's placed on Van, search your deck for Herb Buster, call it to rear. So free call. Um, then act once per turn. Uh, until the end of turn, we'll count last one. This gets plus 10k and your opponent cannot call grade one or greater cards in their hand. For the about this attack. So it's kind of like the old skill where you don't have to meet the power threshold. It just gets 10k. Opponent can't guard with grade 1 or greater cards. But like all the sentinels and stuff are grade zeros now. So it's 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 whatever, but you know, if you want to play a budget uh dimensional police deck, this is a it's a good card to get your hands on. So that's always fun. Card could have said no sentinels. That would have made it really funny, but keeping the old text is fun too. Uh, the leaders, a vanilla D police card, D police card, reprinting crits. Oh, that's a really funny art for a draw trigger. Furry monster, Momomohaja, Momomohaja. <laughs> uh, rare, what do you do? Oddness Adore Dragon. Uh, opponent has no rear guards. This gets plus five, and when your opponent would call, they must call turn more. Okay, so... This is a pretty okay card, but there's not really any room for it, I would say, just because you need both Blade Masters for the most part of the deck to function. But if you want to play a budget build, this is a definitely a good card for Kagero. All right, on to the next pack. I feel like I haven't seen any of my double, my triple R's yet, but that might just be me. I might have forgotten already. All right, nothing, nothing, another vision token. Grand Rescue's back, a reprint, and another double R. What does this do? Deleter, grade three. Uh, when placed, kind of lost one, discard a card from your hand, delete your opponent's vanguard. Okay. Uh, other skill, when placed on rear, soul blast one, your opponent cannot, wait, and your opponent cannot turn deleted cards face up during his or next end phase. Oh, so it like Omega locks their deleted card if they don't ride. I can see that potentially being a good card, but that's really relying on your opponent not being able to re-ride. Because if they re-ride, then, you know, what's the point? Also, if you already delete it, like, you know, it sucks. Uh, but, yeah, placing, doing that cost, and if your opponent rides afterwards, it's kind of like you lost a Soul Blast, so. But, I don't know. I don't really know what the deleter deck looks like in today's era, so maybe it's a good card. Maybe it's a good... A good tech. Uh, purple gem carbuncle. 
Oh, this is my first time reading this card. When your vanguards stand, this gets 15k. That's actually a pretty funny card <laughs> for Overlord. Reprint, reprint. This thing... I feel like I remember doing so. Oh, hello, you are a reprint that I remember. I think you were the Amber clone for OTT. Uh, once per turn, soul plus one, discard a card from your hand. Reveal the top card of your deck and put it into your hand. Activate all the trigger effects that are revealed cards. If you revealed a normal unit, this gets 6k. That's pretty good. So, more revealing trigger effects to help, you know, if you want to stack cards, that could also be good. Yeah, pretty dope. I can definitely see, see this being run of. Alright. Next pack. Ooh, another Conroe. Nice, now we can run two Conroes. <laughs> Uh, nothing, nothing, commons, commons, commons. I feel like I've seen this card before. When it's unlocked, you draw a card and you go and use another turn. That's pretty good. And some die dumper. All your grade 3s get plus 3 shield. Okay, but like, it's only a van circle. When it attacks, have this get 10k, retire at the end of battle. Yeah, typical common cards there. All right, we got about five packs left, so last five packs. So starting off, we got a common vanilla, common vision token, reprint, more mo 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 mos, and more rares. A hey, second VR. Look at that! Wow. Well, I thought it was supposed to only be one VR per box, but I got two. That's pretty cool. Uh. When it attacks, activate all the effects uh, below according to its critical. So two or more crits, uh, your front row gets 5k. Three or more crits, front row gets 10k. Four or more crits, uh, all your front row gets plus one crit. And then act once per turn, count plus one, this gets a crit. So stacking crits, but you know, PGs exist. So it's an okay card, but probably really, really, really funny if you just want to play the damage denial deck. You know, you just... Swing with Van, and then you send your turn. <laughs> you know, stack crits. Um, okay, still feel like I haven't seen any triple R's, but I've seen two VR's in my box. That's, it's fun. All right, what's next? Purple Gem, uh, Vanilla, Battle Sister, Common, Common, I've seen something shiny in the back. Uh, oh, this thing's funny. Uh, at the beginning of each turn's battle phase, choose one of your opponent's vanguard, increase or decrease the student's power to match that power. And then, oh, third VR, hello. So is it three VRs a box? I'm confused now. Um, act once per turn, soul blast one, and put a total of two cards with different card names from your drop zone to their rear is locked. And then when it attacks, choose any number of locked cards, unlock them, and those unlocked cards get 10k. Yeah, so cool, I got we got Alter Ego. <laughs> uh, Alter Ego Messiahs are a really good deck, as far as I know, and they're pretty fun because, you know, multi tacking in a force deck is always good. And, yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm three VRs. Uh, I'm kind of shocked because I feel like I, like I said, have not seen a triple R in this box at all. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's, let's see if I can pull it. Oh, there's another shiny card back there. Uh, common. Common, uh, starter for D police, black black boy, uh, battle sister heal, crit, that one grade three, and there's triple R, uh, black clad top tier deity, Brad Black. So this card's actually really fun in my opinion because it lets you re-ride without the need of great Dayusha. So it's let's read the skill. Uh, Van, act once per turn, count plus one. And three units in your front row get in 10k, so it's already really good. Uh, auto Van, at the end of the battle, it attacked. Look at the top seven cards from the top of your deck, reveal one grade three, put in your hand, shuffle. If your vanguard is grade three or greater, discard two cards, write a grade three not named Brad Black from your hand to stand, and that unit gains 10k but loses a drive check. So it's a nerfed version of Great Dayusha, but it lets any grade three in your hand work, so you can go into this, and then um, uh, if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3, 
You can ride a card like um, Dylander if you want to set up for more plays. Um, you get another gift, so maybe if you want to throw this into... I don't know. I mean, right away, my first thought is you're going to play this in uh, Dimensional Robos. But um, you could also run this in Gallop if you wanted to. If you want to just kind of stack... You know, if you already have the, the Force Gift from this, you can ride another Gallop and you get another Force Gift just to keep the power going, and then you gain crits from stacking abilities, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I do feel like this is more of a dimens dimensional robo card, for sure. But, hey, first triple R in the box. <laughs> After getting three VRs. All right, next pack. So we got to go through. We got one more pack after this. Let's see what happens. So we have... This card kind of looks familiar, but I feel like it's not a retrain. But it's a common, common uh, starter for OTT, common crit, common draw, rare, and triple R. Oh, cool. So this is basically the OTT box. Uh, this is the retrain stride fodder. During your turn, if a card from your deck were revealed, this gets 5k. Uh, when placed from hand, look at five cards, reveal a grade three. Shuffle, and if you put a card in your hand, you discard a card. So, cool, I got, I got the OTT staples going so far. So, definitely going to need four of that if you want to play OTT, which I definitely don't want to do, <laughs> just personal preference. All right, last pack. So, that was the second Triple R. Let's see what's in here. So, we got Vanilla Cargaro, Kika, Go Biker, a Mother Orb Dragon, Die Racer. That's actually a really cool art for a D Robo card. That's sick. Uh, GG and. Ooh, cool. More Overlord support. So that's our third Triple R in the box. Uh, a New Road Dragon. When placed, look at seven cards from the top of your deck. Reveal one Dragonic Overlord, the Cross, or the X, or the Ten, or whatever your heart's content. From among them and reveal it. Put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck. When your Vanguard attacks, if your hand has four or less cards, this gets 5k. And that bottom skill is probably not even going to be important because the cross of skill is literally consider your hand as if it were zero for card abilities. Card abilities. So when your Vanguard attacks, it gets 5k and it's going to stack. So this is probably going to end up getting 10k on its own. So definitely a really, really good staple you want to run in your Overlord deck. Definitely need four copies of. That was the last pack. So let's quickly go over the important pulls. Let me organize it up just a bit. Um, I won't really go into the double R's for the pulls, so I'm just going to pull out all the triple R's and VR's and see what we get. So, from my box, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I assume it's supposed to be one VR and three triple R's. That's why I assume it is. I might be wrong. They might have changed the ratios from what I remember, but I got these three triple R's. So, we got Ignoro Dragon, uh, Brad Black, and Murakumo. And then we also have three VR's. So, we have Suzano. Uh, Grand Gallop and Alter Ego. So this is kind of shocking for me personally because I've never gotten three VRs in a box, but that's pretty cool. So overall, this was a pretty decent box. Um, the obviously great pull is the, the cover art being Alter Ego. Um, good staple. This is a great card for Dimension Police in general just because it doesn't just stick with just Gallop or just D-Robos, it just lets you ride any grade 3 from your hand, so that's really cool. Um, if you're playing Susano, you gotta, you know, this is the main card for the deck. And then future o Oracle Think Tank staple, obviously you're gonna be running Murakumos, so this was actually a pretty decent box for the most part. Um, so if you want to play any of these clans, my recommendation, play sets needed, obvious play sets needed. Um, play sets of the, each of these, basically. Gallop is an okay card, personal preference, but I'd still think the D-Police deck, uh, or, sorry, <laughs> the Dimensional Robo deck is the better variant than Gallop. That's just me personally, but I feel like because of that, Gallop could be a good budget deck since it doesn't have a high value. I haven't checked the value of these cards, but if you do want to play a budget Dimension Police deck, I think Gallop is going to be the way to go. So that was it for the unboxing. Thanks you guys for watching. And again, uh, thanks again to Triple Sleeve TCG for providing me with this box. 
you guys should definitely check out their site if you're looking to get play sets and build your decks faster. These prices are pretty well balanced, I would say, in terms of how much playset splits are. So I definitely recommend checking out their website. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.